What's going on everybody? This is Mortem and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the launch details for the upcoming DLC for Elder Scrolls Online The Dark Brotherhood. So this is hands down the one I've been looking forward to the most but we're just going to talk uh, some of the launch details. I actually have some other videos planned in regards to this but for the moment just these launch details. So Looking at the website here, uh, the price details, so they've actually done the same thing for the last two, so this is probably going to be their standard going forward, but the base DLC game pack is going to be 2,000 crowns, which comes about to 10 to 15 bucks usually. Uh, after that, there's also a collector's edition for 4,000 crowns, which is usually, again, like 25 to 30-ish dollars. And what you get with the collector's bundle is the base game patch, some crown experience scrolls, a... Vanity Pet and the Highland Wolf Mount. So, for what you can expect for the DLC game pack specifically, uh, you have to buy the game pack to get these particular features. Uh, access to the Dark Brotherhood, of course. Uh, you get to uh, go to the Gold Coast, which is where all of this DLC is going to be taking place. Uh, a new passive skill line to go along with that. From what I've looked, by the way, a lot of those passive skills really aren't that great, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, there's going to be several hours of story content. Uh, pr I would expect five to six. That's about how long it took me to run through the Thieves Guild, personally. I imagine this is of similar size. So, in addition to that, there's going to be repeatable activities, uh, new daily quests, basically, and those are going to be bounty quests, contract kills, and sacrament quests which are basically the various ways you can make money with the Dark Brotherhood and murdering people, with bounties being uh, not technically the Dark Brotherhood, but people just paying you to kill people, uh, contract kills, which is the Dark Brotherhood just paying you to kill people, and your sacrament quests where the Dark Brotherhood has been invoked by the Black Sacrament and therefore has someone to kill. Uh, the Litany of Blood, that's actually going to be an achievement-specific one. Um, it's a Dark Brotherhood thing, it's kind of like a special mission. As far as I know, it does not relate to the story of the DLC at all. It's just an extra bit you can do. You have to go around Tamriel killing a bunch of people, there's an achievement in a polymorph if you can complete the quest. Uh, there's going to be two new delves, uh, Hrata Cave and Garlus Agia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, two new world bosses, uh, powerful new gear, which is going to be several different sets you can find, things like that. Uh, yeah, more sets and new music. I find it weird they mentioned that. And then there's uh, the base game patch. Um, most of this I imagine people already know about, and a lot of it's kind of forgettable stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of it's going to be like crafting sets and, uh, well, crafting styles rather, and then new item sets. Uh, a lot of balance and bug fixes, but probably the top two, and as they are on this list even, is going to be the removal of veteran ranks and poison making. I'm not going to delve into that here, I just wanted to talk about the launch details, but those are things you can expect with this upcoming DLC pack. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it was informative at the very least. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.